If you are anything like me, you wish to live a good life in Thailand, but also save and live cheaply. Previously, we have covered how to live in Thailand cheaply as a foreigner, but today we will be exploring the cheapest areas to live in Thailand so that you can live a full life while saving a great deal of cash. Before we begin, please note that the estimated prices are based on a single adult and exclude luxury items. Also, the list consists of the cheapest areas to live in Thailand for foreigners compared to the quality of life. What this means is that there may be some towns or smaller villages that offer a cheaper way of life, but may not be the best for foreigners. For example, an area may be cheap, but highly inaccessible. The first area is Rayong. Rayong is a beautiful city that is located within traveling distance of Bangkok and Pattaya. The area is not as well well known as other cities, however, there are many expats who have been in this area, especially during the peak time before COVID-19. Excluding luxuries, an expat can live comfortably in Rayong for between 28,000 to 32,000 Thai baht, and this is equivalent to 826 US dollars to 945 dollars. Naturally, the most significant expense in this area is the accommodation, but thanks to condominiums such as D Condo, Finding a high quality place to live in Rayong that's also cheap is fairly straightforward. We then leave the sunny beaches of Rayong to head up north to Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai is possibly one of the most searched areas of Thailand behind Bangkok. The city offers many attractions and is a beautiful area to live in. Excluding luxuries, expats can live in Chiang Mai between 25,000 to 30,000 Thai bar, which is approximately $730 to $885. If you decide not to rent a motorbike or pay for local gym memberships, then it's possible to live on much less in this area. A few hours bus ride will take us to Chiang Rai. Chiang Rai and Chiang Mai are very similar in some respects. But Chiang Rai is much smaller and has lots of natural wonders. Food and accommodation costs are often very low and the cost of living in Chiang Rai is also very similar to that of Chiang Mai. But many locals and foreigners can lower the cost of living in Chiang Rai if they are able to live outside of the main downtown area. For those who enjoy the beaches, another option is Hua Hin. Over the years, this beautiful destination has become a popular getaway for many residents of Bangkok. During the current period, living costs in Hua Hin are much lower than they were previously. Foreigners who are living in Thailand and decide to live in Hua Hin can lower their living expenses by choosing accommodation wisely. The living expenses in this area range between 30,000 to 35,000 Thai bar, and this is approximately 885 US dollars to 1032 dollars. Next we have Koh Samui, and over the years the island has gained great popularity with the digital nomad community as well as the younger generation. Still, the island has much more to offer aside from its talked about parties. At this current moment, living on the island is much cheaper than it was previously, including accommodation, tours and other living expenses. The cost of living per month ranges between 35,000 to 42,000 Thai baht, and this is approximately $1,030 to $1,240. As mentioned, this does not include any luxury items, and therefore if you wish to add expenses, such as hiring a private boat for example, you may wish to include a few hundred dollars on top of this estimate. Moving to another beautiful island, we have Koh Lanta. Koh Lanta is a wonderful and highly underrated island of Thailand. For some, Koh Lanta is seen as a romantic getaway, as there have been many honeymoons and romantic retreats to this island. Nonetheless, this is not the only type of customer that comes to the island, and before COVID-19, Koh Lanta would possibly not be one of the cheapest areas to live in Thailand, but due to the recent times, expats are reporting a much lower cost of living in this area. Excluding luxuries, foreigners can live in Koh Lanta between 30 to 37,000 Thai bar, which is between 885 to 1,090 US dollars. So what would my advice
advice be for those who are looking to live cheaply in Thailand? Well, one consideration to make when looking to live in cheap areas of Thailand is that there's a diverse range of costs all across the country. I have met expats who have lived in Northern Thailand who have spent a small fortune and also met expats who have lived in Bangkok and hardly spent a penny. In other words, the cost of living does differ slightly, but one consideration is that it's not so much the location even though that does have an impact, but more the spending habits. For example, if you are someone who enjoys eating Western food, then you may find that living costs are slightly higher as those foods are higher all across Thailand. Nevertheless, the cheapest areas to live in Thailand tend to be in the north and the east. Central Thailand, which comprises of Bangkok and the southern areas of Thailand, tend to be slightly more expensive. However, due to the ongoing pandemic, the cost of living in southern Thailand is considerably cheaper than what it was previously. And this is why I often mention that now is a fantastic time to travel all across Thailand.